one, you kind of alluded to the, oh, sorry, Kara. No, why don't you go ahead? Thank you. Um, You alluded to it just, you know, being a kid from Oakland, you were part of the Warriors Youth Program. What does this franchise and this organization mean to you as a person, regardless of being a now full-time roster member? Just what is it, how has it impacted your life? Uh, I mean, now it's a more personal impact, but I grew up going to games, so it, it gave me dreams. You know, uh, just from a very young kid, like, I always wanted to walk in the Oracle onto that court donning an NBA jersey. You know, I never imagined they would be wearing a Warrior jersey. And so um, just the Warriors themselves for what they are, they they've – given me dreams they've given me an idea of where i wanted to be in my life and what i wanted to do and so uh man miss Addos, if you're out there watching like i'm so thankful to you because you changed my life you know i was just a kid going to stonehurst elementary a kid pulled out a knife on me in second grade and my mom made me transfer and then i met this lady and she just changed my life so she's a, a direct extension of the warriors you know her husband is a warriors legend so the Warriors mean everything to me. And now I'm on this team. It's just like, it's a, it's a storybook. It's a movie. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it means everything to me. I'm just extremely happy to now be taking a step forward in my life and like, you know, be here and have some prolonged time here looking forward. Juan, I know you had a successful career in Mexico, but when was the last time you knew where you would be playing the next season? This is the first time in my career. And so, uh, man, people don't even realize how stressful that is. You know, uh, I never, ever got really gotten a summer, have gotten a summer since I left for college. Buzz made us stay and do summer school every year. And then after I was playing pro, I was playing national team. I was picking up odd jobs and all over the world. And so um, now that I have an actual schedule, I'm able to just really just sit back and relax for the first time in my life, I'm talking about going on vacation with my family. Uh, we've never been on, I've never been anywhere with my mom other than Disneyland. You know, that was vacation to us. That was a huge vacation to us growing up. And so now I'm, I feel extremely fortunate to be able to, like, I could pretty much take my mom anywhere she wants in the world. And so those are the type of things that I get excited about. I get excited to be able to hang out with my friends and hang out with my family. I get excited to, you know, just make plans finally. Never been able to make plans. So uh, that's just like a, a, it's a relief for sure. Um, One, a- with your mom, uh, if I may. Uh, um, the Warriors just posted the video of your mom's phone call to you where she said she was proud of you um, and it brought a tear to your eye. Mm-hmm. Can you kind of walk us through what you were thinking there? Uh, everything I've been through in my life, I've been through with my mom. Uh, Physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, literally everything. Um, And so we share this moment together. That's my best friend. That's my hero. Uh, That's Superwoman. I think she's the strongest person in this world. Uh, Man, I can't wait to... I, I, I know my mom don't care about material things, but... I can't wait to uh, repay my mom however I can one day because my mom has sacrificed so much for me to be here. You know, uh, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, but, you know, now that I look back on it, it never seemed that bad because my mom just, she was just bulletproof. She was like a cushion for life, you know, so she protected us from everything. And so the older I get and, you know, I start to become more conscious and aware of things, real life things and how hard life is, you know, life is really hard. Uh, I can't do nothing but stand up and salute my mom because she's just the toughest person in the world. My mom is a gangster. And I mean that in every sense of it. My mom is a real gangster for everything, you know. And so whether that's a new car one day, a new home, uh, new jewelry, I don't care what it is. I got it for my mom because I wouldn't be here without her. I'll give my mom my last. Uh, That's my whole heart. I love her to death. And so thank you, mom. 